Sunday, July the 18th at 11am New Zealand time. I'm going to be going over the Ayurvedic doshas and how I use them to work out how my clients are going to respond to this emotional release work because some of them will be all in and just want more and really go for it and get really fast results. There are other personality types or doshas that become very hesitant. They understand everything cognitively, but they don't necessarily, um, they don't have the ability to implement it so easily. They tend to procrastinate, ask a lot of questions. And then we've got another personality or dosha type out there that gets very overwhelmed. And so I'm gonna be covering this on the masterclass because it's a very intense two hours where I'm covering a lot of information and it will speak to each of the dosha types out there. So the other, um, the other type that gets very overwhelmed, they might feel really tired um, during and after the masterclass, but this is all completely normal. And it is about catering the information when you're getting this work done, um, when it's been facilitated, or if you're running through a course to understand what your personality type is and the way you're going to respond to something and therefore having the information communicated to you differently. Then I'm going to go over the chakra system, which is what I use when people get all of this stuff around emotions being stored in the body. They know all about awareness and mindfulness and they're really getting sick of being told that you just need to be more aware, you just need to be more mindful or it's the stress that's causing all of your physical pain and your ailments or your anxiety and depression. And uh, they they get that and they know that maybe they have had some traumas or experiences in the past but they don't really know what to do about it. So this is the big thing. Everyone comes to me, well, usually my clients come to me and say, I get it. I know that there's emotions stored in here. I know there's stress, but I just have no idea what to do about it. And I also don't know what it is. I've had so many things happen in my life. And so the chakra system, even though this sounds like a bit of a spiritual or a woo-woo word, everything that I teach is really practical. And I use the chakra system to tell me what emotions are being stored in someone's body. So for me, it doesn't really matter what um, physical issue someone has got, what ailment or what pain or what disease they have. It's more about the location of the body. And so each um, location in the body represents a chakra and these chakras govern different emotions. So this is how we can tell and bring awareness as to what emotions are being stored in the body and therefore what we need to process. So when you're on the masterclass, because I've run a few of these um, over time. Um, oh, Shelly, hello, and hello everyone else who has joined as well. This is gonna be a quick one to tell you about the masterclass, and now I'm just rambling on. I go off on tangents once I start, um, once I start talking, so let me know if you've got any questions. So, um, oh gosh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> So yeah, it's about um, what are the emotions that are stored there. So I've run many masterclasses and I've sort of segmented bits and pieces out, but I always have people coming back to me saying, oh my gosh, that thing that you said, it just resonated with me. They could feel the physiological changes that were happening in them. So just the body sensations, some people like breaking out in sweats or getting really itchy on the call or having all these memories flood back to them. So it's really neat to see and hear that feedback from people. And I really aim to deliver a lot of value that you can actually take away from these masterclasses, even though they're free. Um, and I hear from people months later, like, hey, you know, what you said on that masterclass, it really sat with me. And then I was able to work with the therapist that I was working with, who's really open to the mind-body connection. And now I am like 95% pain-free or this symptom has resolved. Okay, so then um, this whole thing of like creating awareness around what emotions are stored in your body, this is the next place where people get stuck is, okay, I get it, I know I've had all this trauma, I know that there was this like traumatic birth or whatever it was, what do I do with them? So this is what I'm really gonna go through in depth with you is the exact process that I work, um, that I use with my clients to facilitate a release process. And I used to call it emotional release, but it's bigger than that. I call it just the release process because we shift and release things on different levels. One is emotional, but we also shift things physically with movement in our body and also physiologically. And usually if we don't actually release things in a, um, in a conscious way, like we haven't set aside time to actually facilitate ourselves through this release. This is when it comes up 
subconsciously or at random. It's never really at random. You can connect the dots. But this is when we might get things like the anxiety, the body shakes, um, feeling sick in our tummy, the random spews, uh, like the bouts of diarrhea or having like skin outbreaks that we can't really attribute to anything physical. So I'm a very, very strong believer that our physical body is a manifestation of our emotional state. So I'm going to take you through the process. There are four key things that I um, do with my clients. It can be a little bit tricky to wrap your head around when you're just listening to it in the moment. There is going to be a replay of the masterclass on Sunday, but it's only going to be up for a couple of weeks. And I encourage you to just be fully present. And that's when you're going to soak in the valuable information that's really going to make a difference for you. So I'm going to take you through the screen process. And then I always joke that I could coach people for probably three weeks and do a whole course on just teaching people how to scream and release. And then I'm going to take you through the verbal dialogue process, which has got three different stages, a one-way conversation, a two-way conversation, and an inner child or a younger self conversation. And I will tell you the words that I use when I am getting people to do this on their own. Um, and sorry, I'll tell you the words that I use when I am facilitating this with a client one-to-one. -one. Usually I work online, but it is something that you can actually take away and do yourself. And you could do this after the masterclass, but I'm going to go over some parameters of when you do this, because you do need to make sure that you're in the right state of mind, that you feel ready. And most of all, that you feel safe and that you don't do harm to yourself or anyone else out there. And of course, all amongst this, I just absolutely love talking about the crazy shit that comes out of people verbally, but also emotionally, physically and physiologically, because I think this is why a lot of people get quite scared to do emotional release work or seek out this work because of the stuff that can come out of them. And when you're working with someone who doesn't quite know how the body will react when you start to release emotions or trauma. Trauma is just very subjective, whatever it means to you. Uh, there's lots of scary responses that your body can have. Um, you know, I've got clients who will break out in cold sores, massive pimples, rashes, shingles has been really common, or they get absolutely nailed with a virus like flus. We'll go into that. Why does the body um, respond this way? And it really is just a release in the body. Some people will vomit as well. And you just, some people get really scared. At, um, you know, why is the body doing this? And when you go through that discomfort, it can be really easy to just shut down and um, avoid it. Avoid it again. Recently, something that's been coming up in my groups and the clients that I've been working with is they like the sound of this work or other people who haven't done um, they haven't dived into this area just yet. They like the sound of it, but it's actually really scary because you've gotten used to functioning with your discomfort, with your mental imbalance, with your pain, your injury, your disease. You've learned to function with it. And it's just crazy hearing people say that, that they get scared of the possibility or who it is they're going to be when they don't have this dysfunction to deal with anymore and the possibility that's on the other side. And this is why I'm so passionate because I have taken people to the other side so many times. Um, oh, Shelly, yeah, there are lots of good pain story um, interviews. I've just released a few more. I'm back on a roll. I'll tell you about them. They're really fascinating, um, the ones that I've done. But yeah, I've taken people through to the other side so many times and it is just so cool to see how their life changes and more in that direction of who they want to be. So yeah, just, I mean, think of that. If you think that you are, you know that you're not happy, you know that you're living with something that's really holding you back from living the life you want, then yeah, it's completely normal to be a little bit scared, a little bit nervous. But I always say to people, just trust your heart. What is your heart saying? Like, I need this work. I want this work. Um, there's some of you who have been on my previous release course, which is launching after the masterclass on Sunday. Um, I don't even know how to explain what happened on there. It was incredible. Oh, hi, Amy. How are you? Um, so... Yeah, the the six week course is like where you actually take the information from the masterclass, have the accountability to 
drop in and actually do the work, do the hard work and have the support for all the crazy stuff that starts to come out of the, your body and you get inspiration from others around the shifts that you get to see. So just as a reminder, because, um, hi Amy, just as a reminder for those of you who have jumped in, I just went off a complete tangent, but it was a reminder about the July 18th masterclass, which is Sunday, the um, Sunday in New Zealand, but it's going to be Saturday for those of you in the US, Europe and Canada. So it's July 18th, 11am New Zealand time. So I'm hoping that some of you will be able to join in live. It will go for two hours and there will be a replay, but you do need to register. The link is in my bio. If you don't know where to find it, just message me and I'll send it to you and you'll get all the reminders and you'll get the replay, but it's only going to be up for a couple of weeks. And then we will be launching the six week course again. There's going to be some people revisiting and it's not because it wasn't effective. It's just that this personal development journey is never ending. You are always going to have events in your life and challenges that are going to need processing. So I really feel that this is about teaching you to improve your emotional metabolism. And thanks Shelley for writing this. So best experience, still implementing the learnings screams every day in the car. And Shelley is an art, an amazing artist. And during release, she got so inspired to do a painting. And I am so happy that I managed to get the, um, the original, but this is one piece. This is how I met Shelley actually, because I was, um, I was looking up some artwork around past lives. I am into past lives as well. And um, yeah, I used one of her images. I ended up buying the print and it was just so nice to um, buy an original piece of art by Shelley that was inspired after she got so many shifts. So, so many things can open up. I don't know how to describe it. Like you might come in with an intention to um, to shift some emotion around a specific event. However, when you move through that, you open space for so many other incredible things to happen in your life. So this is the energetic aspect of this work. Amy, I have loved the techniques you've taught me. They are so helpful. Thank you so much, Amy. It's just, it was so cool working with you. And um, yeah, if you are on here and you have worked with me before, there is an offer in your email um, to join the next round of release to get another boost, another little kick, and um, just reintegrate everything. And even if you have been on my previous masterclass, I'm going to be teaching some similar things, but I do it a lot of it unscripted because... I call it an ever evolving beast. It is just crazy this work and the new people that I get to interact with, the new connections that I start to make in my brain as well. And it's just truly fascinating. So yeah, you do just need to register for the masterclass and then you'll get information about the course. I'll be posting like crazy on social media. I think I'll end up going live on here pretty regularly as well. So if you've got any questions, just reach out to me. But I am, yeah, check your email, Shelley. So <laughs> while I'm on here and while I've got your attention, I'll tell you about these crazy podcasts that I've been doing. They have been super, super interesting. I've done about 20 in the last couple of weeks. I had a little bit of a hiatus, a little bit of a break from my podcasts. Um, you probably have noticed I haven't been doing as many solo podcasts. And if you don't know about my podcast, it's called The Art of Listening to Your Body. And I love to interview people about their pain stories, but pain stories that they have been able to move through. And usually we've connected because they resonate with your emotional state manifesting in your physical body. And I think that so often we look at other people out there who might be successful and other people that we desire to maybe be like one day and think that their life is so easy. But I can assure you that the majority of people out there who are successful or who you desire to be have been through some challenges in their life, whether or not it's big or small or horrible. And they are very willing to share this because the people on my podcast are willing to share this because they want to let others of you who maybe have been in that same position that there is possibility, that there is a way. And so not all of them will resonate.